What is good YouTube? It is your boy Josh Lives back here with another video man. Today we are going to be cooking the best steak. Yes, you heard it. Okay guys, so first thing what we're going to do is we're going to season the steak with some black pepper. As you guys can see, we got the freaking steak right here. This is some New York strip ribeye. So we're going to go ahead and freaking cook that. Got some potatoes cooking in there. Got the oven at 425. Guys, I know I don't really never film videos like this to where I actually like, you know, cook for you guys. But I want to show you guys the best steak for the best gains, baby. Let's go. Rosemary leaves. You're going to need some avocado oil. You're going to need some ground pepper. And all the other stuff will be in the description down below. So if you want to do this for yourself and you want to cook some bomb steak for the gains, look in the description down below and like this video why are you still staring at me bro like the video like get to it i gotta pay rent for tomorrow okay we're just going to drizzle that bad baby just a little bit on the steak you know it's a tiny teeny bit not too much come on yep me... all right so i'm just gonna put this bad boy in just get it all nice and glazed up even the sides, you guys gotta get the insides, the outsides, every mother freaking side. You can rub both steaks on there, get it on that other side. And yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and season it with some ground black pepper. Put a generous amount. See, people that like to cook, y'all be shy with the seasoning. Put a good amount. Some on the sides as well of the steak. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Oh yeah, rub it. You like that? Like when I slap you like that? Yeah, you listen to daddy. Listen to poppy. Sorry. You're gonna need a mother freaking cast iron skillet, okay? And if you guys want optimal gains, you guys wanna go ahead and curl this bad baby. If you guys didn't know, it's gonna give you the optimal gains. It's gonna get that girl to basically, you know, give you her number or, I don't know, but it's just gonna give you mother freaking gains. As you guys can see, I have a nice mother freaking pump. So yeah, best of gains, cast iron skillet. It's gonna save you a lot of time. Ooh, baby, let's get it. I'm gonna go ahead and take these bad babies out. I think they're ready. So yeah, you guys can watch me do that. Hopefully I don't mother freaking burn. Mother fudger. Mother fudger. So just let's just listen. Let's just listen. Let's just observe the sizzle. Like, do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? Like, look at that. That sizzle. If your potatoes do not have that smell or that sizzle. Just, just, just stop. Just don't even try to cook. Don't even try to watch this tutorial to do what I'm trying to teach you guys. All right, so once your steak is nice and seasoned, you got the black pepper on there. You guys can put more. It's kind of just up to you. I might put a little bit more in a little bit. But next you want to do, what you want to do is uh, cook this bad baby on the skillet. You can put the skillet at about five or, I like to put mine at like five or six. So I'll leave it around there. As you guys can see, the heat It's going to start cooking on this bad baby and we're gonna put this thing right here on the mother freaking skillet but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna cook the sides so the sides right here we're gonna cook that first before we actually start cooking the front of the steak and the back side of it so let's get just get right into that so we're gonna go ahead and put some olive oil on here so the steak doesn't stick to the pan that much uh, put it just a generous amount that's good should be good all right, come on, baby. So we're gonna wait for this to get nice and hot and then we're gonna start um, cooking the sides of the steak. And uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see these potatoes. Oh, mother freaking bust. Oh! All right, guys, so we got it on one side. We're just gonna let that sit there and cook for about a minute and a half. Then we're gonna flip it, and then I'm gonna show you guys the next step. Y'all wish. Y'all wish this could be you. Hopefully it will one day. 
right after it's done, you're gonna get some nice juicy butter, as you guys can see right here. You're gonna put that on the pan, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get some rosemary leaves. You don't have to, but this is how to, I'm teaching you guys how to make the best steak for the best mother freaking games, baby. So just, just follow what I'm telling you to do. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put some rosemary. And also, key important thing, put this on low when you put the butter and the rosemary leaves, okay? So yeah, steak's cooking, sizzling. I'm about to do the next step, so just watch and follow. And leave that bad baby right there. As you guys can see, the butter's cooking. I'm gonna get some rosemary leaves. Not too much. Doing right over here. Just watch closely. As you guys can see, this the steak looks freaking bussin'. We're gonna go ahead and cut that bad baby open, and then we're gonna cook this next one right here, but off camera. And then I'm gonna show you guys how good that mother freaking looks. All right, you guys, about to cut the steak open. So, this is optional, but the remaining juice, you can pour it onto your steak, or and just leave it in the pan for the next steak or you can just throw it away so what we're gonna do is pour it on the steak <laughs> so cleaning part is definitely the worst part but the reward is so much better i have a just a work of art the reason why i say this is because guys i never cook but recently for the past five months i've been trying to learn how to cook i've been watching recipes on tiktok i've been trying to learn how to cook and this is my first time making steak and i am genuinely saying this is the best steak that i've ever tried no joke best steak i've ever tried uh the first batch definitely came out a little bit more uh medium well not as it's still red but you know not as red but the crisp on the outside was perfect for the first batch the second batch, which is all this, because I ate most of the first batch, was definitely really, really good. It's, it's really good. I already tried it as well. And it's more fresh because it's hotter, but it's not nearly as good as the first batch, but it's still freaking bussin'. I also had some like potatoes that I made, as you guys can see. And it just, y'all, I don't think y'all really, like y'all don't understand how proud I am of myself, bro. For real. But I'm going to go ahead and drink this Minute Made. Can't forget the Bev. Can't forget the bath. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just get into this meal. I'm gonna go ahead and eat. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Without further ado, I'm out, man. But before I leave, like this mother freaking video because this took some mother freaking time and effort, okay? There's a lot of time and effort that goes behind these videos. There's a lot of sacrifices that goes behind these videos. My parents, look, I'm in their house right now. I want to get the freak out so I can yell as loud as possible. So like and freaking subscribe. Please.